we can write the electron configuration of the atoms using a shorthand notation or noble gas notation. So for example, for lithium, we have the electron configuration of helium and one electron in a 2s subshell. And similarly for boron, we have the following electron configuration. So the electrons in the outer shell of the atom are called the valence electrons and they're shown here using the Bohr model. Now the ionization energy is the energy required to remove an electron from an atom. And this can be estimated qualitatively using the energy analogue of Coulomb's law, which says that the electric potential energy is proportional to the product of the charge of the nucleus and the electron and inversely proportional to the distance of the electron from the nucleus. So as you can imagine it's going to be a lot easier to ionize a valence electron which is farthest from the nucleus. So the Coulombic potential energy is always less than zero so electrons closer to the nucleus are going to have a lower potential energy than the electrons farther from the nucleus. So to ionize an electron, you need to input energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation to make that electron jump an energy level. So therefore we need to bring the energy of the electron to zero to eject it. And the energy of the electron is quantized, so the electron exists at specific energy levels. And when the electron emits a photon, or loses a specific amount of energy, it jumps down an energy level. So you can imagine it's a lot easier to ionize a valence electron, which is further from the nucleus than the inner or core electrons. 